Lindsay Lissa from Mink Arts and Crafts, and today we have another small shop haul. I'm slowly catching up. All of the packages now are actually packages from November, and we actually have, like, if we go by dates, uh, we have, like, November 6th through November 16th, so, like, I'm doing good. I'm not buying as much, and... I'm getting better, like, so it's coming out, like, relatively closer timing-wise, so that's good. I'm catching up, you guys. I'm catching up. I've, like, cut back on how much I'm buying, and I don't have nearly as much of, like, a catch-up for you guys. So, we're going to break into this. We have a package from WeWax Crafts. We have uh, two new-to-me boxes that I'm going to be unboxing for you guys. We have Madwood Wood Turning, all the way from Slovenia. We have Merry Making and More, because, of course, you know, I love my Merry Mud. Uh, and uh, Firefly Diamond Art. This one I have been waiting a very long time for, so I'm excited to see how it turned out. So we're going to break into this. Uh, as you know, I cut open my packages ahead of time because you don't want to see me struggle, and I struggle. So this, my packing slip. Uh, Alyssa, thank you for supporting my small shop. Love and hugs, Laura. P.S. Hugs to Mochi and Sushi because, of course, the girls... Uh, they get all the lovings. So let's see what we got from Laura over uh, We Wax Crafts, Anxiety Art Adventures. Ooh, all sorts of goodies in here today. Let's see. We have this little pink squishy thing. Oh, that is cute. And it looks like we got another one. Oh, this is a cute little teal aqua. Oh, look at that color. It's perfect for my desk. This cute, adorable little bunny. The girl, Sushi loves to grab these little toys and run off with them. I don't know if I'm going to give her this one, but she could totally steal this little squishy bunny and run off with that one. So we've got the little squishies. We've got a bag of gummy bears. Haichu. Haichus are always a win. And now let's break into the actual goods. Oh, I love the color of this one this time around. This is such a pretty color. And let us see what we got. Do, 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 do. I love that color. That is such a pretty package. Here is our actual Wee Wax. I love the cat stickers this time. Here is our card from Wee Wax Crafts. There are your details. Oh, I can already smell that. And that smells so good. Cowtails, original caramel. Have you? It has been so long since I've had one of those. Oh my goodness! And look at these adorable cat stickers. And they actually have like reminiscent of the girls because Mochi's got that white. Uh, is the tabby with the white on her face? And then Sushi is a torty tabby, but she's got that like orange color. So they actually are similar colors to the girls. That is perfect, Laura. I love it. And look at this, Winter Woods. I love the color of these tins. So, oh, I love the pine scents of this. Oh, that's the one thing I miss about not having an actual tree is not being able to enjoy that oh, fresh cut, like, smell of a real Christmas tree. But I decided I'm like, I'm not going to do one just for me. And I'm not going to do one, like, with the girls. Uh, well, with Mochi would be fine, but I'm not going to do one with Sushi in her chaos right now. That would just be way too much chaos with her in that fresh kitten stage. It's just not happening right now. I'm not going to open those right now. The girls are off doing things. They're like, we want more food, and they already had dinner. Um, I let them free-range eat, but they eat all the food, and then they want more food. And if I give them more food they will get fat. And Mochi's already fat. She does not need to weigh any more than she already does. She already weighs more than six pounds. She doesn't need to weigh more than that. She's a fat cat. All right. And now this will be my first pen from Mad Wood Turning. Mad Wood Wood Turning. I had heard good things about them online, so I figured I'd give them a try. So we are going to break into this. Here is my uh, receipt. We're going to set that off to the side. Here is thank you for the support. Please join our international Facebook group, Madwood Wood Turning Friends. You will gain new friendships, new diamond friendships, new diamond ideas, updates, special sales, and customer service from us. So there is that. And there are all sorts of goodies in here. 
And it looks like there are some little like M&Ms loose in there, which I'm gonna leave them in their baggie so I don't make a mess. So we've got some candies in there. It looks like they were supposed to be, oh, they're like little mini Smarties. I think they're like little mini M&Ms that are supposed to be in this box, but the box uh, broke in shipping. So smart to leave them inside the box, inside like the little bag, so you don't have to worry about things going all over. But box of candy. Oh, these stickers are pretty. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's going to be a nice flavor of tea. I'm looking forward to that one. Passion fruit, fruit tea flavored. I love me some teas. I'm looking forward to that. These are some pretty stickers. I like these stickers. Uh, I love me some stickers. I need to just break down and get a sticker book just for all of my stickers that I get with my diamond paintings goodies. Now, ooh, that's like a nice... It's almost like a fabric paper. It's a nice paper. All right, let me see if I can actually, okay. I'm gonna cut the tape because it feels, it feels so wasteful to cut into it. Normally I rip and tear, but this like, I don't know. It feels like such nice paper. You guys, I'm like, how do I get into it? I'll just pull it that way. All right. This is like a really nice like napkin. It's really pretty. Look at that. All right. You guys ready to see this? Oh, that is beautiful. Wow. I had no idea. I was like torn between a couple different ones and I had no idea how this would turn out and look when I was picking, but that is beautiful. Look at this pen. So you've got the wood pen. And then you have it where it comes up into the resin here, which has these green, blue, red, all of these colors here. But that is beautiful. Oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. And I was kind of going back and forth between a couple different ones and I was like, ah, which one do I want? Which one do I put in my cart? And then I finally decided on this one. But that is really pretty and I like the soft color of this wood. That is really nice. It's really like, Overall lightweight. Yes, this end is going to be a little bit heavier because the resin weighs more, but that is pretty and the wood is nice and soft and smooth. And the nice thing about the wood like this, it doesn't have tons and tons of, it's not like a super like lacquered over, resined over wood. So you're still actually touching the wood directly with your skin, unlike most of the other pens that I have, which have so much gloss over them. So this actually feels like uh, like your the wood will kind of pick up some of those natural oils and kind of like smooth to your hand as you use it. That is beautiful. Oh, wow. So that's mad wood, wood turning. And they're coming to us all the way from Slovenia and it got here very, very quickly. That is a beautiful, beautiful pen, you guys. Because of course, you know, I couldn't do this and not have a pen in my uh, haul because uh, my pens. At some point, I will do a um, pen stash for you guys. So now we're going to break into my merry making and more stash of goodies. So this was the one from uh, early November, whatever time frame it was that I got this from. Uh, what was, when did I place this order? November, uh, November 11th is when I did this order. So what do we have here? So here is the goodie bag. We have some fruities, some Sour Patch Kids, always a good choice of candies. I love fruity flavored things. Cute little bag and <laughs> Squishmallow, my cow, and Powerpuff Girl. Joop. Let's bring it back to back in the day. So we got some stickers, goods. I'm going to set that off to the side. All right, we're going to break into, I was, I'm trying to be good. And I was like, well, I was like, it'll probably be one of the last big orders that I'm able to get, um, from Mary. So I only ordered, you should guys be proud of me. I only ordered one cover minder, just one, a single cover minder. You would be very proud of me out of this whole stash of goodies. I think it was just the one cover minder. Um, I'll rifle through. I love how she packages everything. Like, one of these days, I'm just going to be as loud and obnoxious as, pos as I possibly can with my opening. 
Yep, just one cover minder. You wanna see this cuteness? Look at that, I thought that was absolutely perfect. Always decide to be as happy as a cat in a box. I mean, like, my cats are off doing cat things and being hooligans. I don't know if you can hear them, but they're they're racing back and forth, chasing each other back and forth across the uh, the house. So they're not sleeping in their boxes, but I literally have a basket and a box. Like literally right there, there's a basket and a box within hand's reach of me. I can reach both of them if they were laying in their boxes because I have box cats. All right, so what flavors of putty did I get? First off, we have a Huckleberry Harvest Merry Muddy. And we will come and take a look at this. I'm struggling today, you guys. Struggling, struggle. Struggle is real. Ah. Come on. Sushi, we are not playing. No, no, no. Kitten, no. Thank you. Get down. You know better. Ooh. The blueberry smell is for real on this one. Ooh, I like, I like, I like. I opened it up and I was like, oh, that smells like blueberry. And then we have a mold cider Mary Mud. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What kind of mold cider do we have here? Look at that. So pretty. Oh, I love the like those like cinnamony. Oh, that smells so good. The spices on there. Oh, smells so good. So mold cider. And then we have chestnuts and brown sugar. So I figured this would be perfect going into this time of year. Oh, oh look at the colors. It's so pretty. Oh, that brown sugar. Oh, that's on point. Oh, that's like perfect. I love the smell of some good brown sugar. It always smells so good. I'm always, you ever wonder, like, I need to cook something that has brown sugar in it just so I can smell the brown sugar. Even though I don't like cooking or baking or, like, anything that involves the kitchen. But I love me some brown sugar. All right, so now we've got hot cocoa. I don't know why I'm struggling so much in opening these today. I don't really have this much of an issue. This one is a really pretty one. Look at all those pinks. Ooh. It's like a mild chocolatey smell. Very mild hot chocolatey smell. It's kind of got that like creamy hot chocolate smell to it. Very mild. Not bad at all. Now we have some Apple Crisp Merry Mud. I like that bright green color bag. So how do you guys, if you guys have a lot of putty flavors, how do you store your putties? Ooh, that smells like a honey crisp apple. That is good. Uh, do you guys store them by color of bag or what? I personally, I know some people that will do them by like the color of the baggie that they're in. I personally uh, store mine in alphabetical order. Hot buttered rum. Uh, and I don't, I don't store them by the color of the bag. I store them in alphabetical order. But they don't go in the alphabetical order until I have done the first use of the, the, the putty. Ooh, it kind of reminds me of like a cream soda, like a hot buttered rum, but like a cream soda type reminder. I'm, I'm also not a very good sniffer, so I feel like my sniffer is always broken because I've had so many bad, my allergies have been so horrible. Leaves, what do leaves smell like? We will find out. If you've ever wondered, what do leaves smell like? I've, I've never, I don't know, I've never wondered what leaves smelled like before. But look at the color. The color is beautiful. I don't know. Hmm, that's interesting. I don't know what it smells like, but it's interesting. Ah, dropping things. I don't know what it smells like, though. It smells good, but I don't know what it smells like. I'm so horrible at the smelling. All right, those are our putty haul, our Mary Mud putty haul with the one lung cover minder, which I thought was perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. 
Now, the last one that we're going to break into, which is a new to me small shop as well. Well, my first time purchasing from them. So that's two new to me small shops you're getting in this haul, you guys. I'm trying. I'm trying here. I'm not trying to be like a stick in the mud and always ordering the same thing. So let me get my uh, uh, sheet out of the way so I can see what did I order. I ordered a couple different things. So I ordered four items and I ordered them on August 23rd. So this was from items that were part of my birthday order uh, of when I made all of the purchases back in August. And this came in and shipped, well, this shipped on, uh, let me look back here. It shipped on November 16th, but there was some customizations that I made and I'll show, save the best for last on the customization. So it did take a little bit for that uh, to come in. Uh, so we will get into that. So we will see. All right. So it says, thank you for supporting my small business, Firefly, Matt and Emily Hansen. Uh, and it's got, you can scan the QR code to visit their website. So you can see that there. Good. Um, so we've got Firefly. And boom. And we've got our little goodie bag, which we have this cute sticker. The future is ahead. This cute little doggo right there. Adorable. We have a sucker. Do you guys call it a sucker or a lollipop? Growing up, the lollipops were those big massive ones like this on the stick. On the stick. That's what we call the lollipop. This would be a sucker. And then a Zots, which I had never heard of Zots until recently. Uh, we always called, we always had warheads. Ooh, that's an interesting washi. That's a fun one. You see that? That's a fun washi tape. This like green sparkly washi. Now I kind of want to like pull it out so you guys can see it too. That's a fun washi tape. Look at that. It's like a, look at that fun washi. That's a fun one. Ooh, it's a shimmery green. That's a fun washi tape. I like that. Anyways, all right. I got distracted. I'm going to pull these items out. So we are going to move that box out of the way so we can move this up. Boom, 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 boom. So let's take a look at what we got. So first thing that I got, I wanted to, as I go struggling with the stuff, you guys know me, I struggle with these things. The struggle bus is real. So I wanted to try out a, or the one of those little drill grinders in this, because you know, I had a batch of drills that were kind of like sticking together quite a bit. So I wanted to try a drill grinder and I want, I liked this color here. It was really pretty. And this is, looks a little bit different than some of the ones that I've seen before. Um, but that I got to try to, you know, separate some sticky drills because I figured, you know, that'd be helpful if you have drills that are sticking together and you can see there is the sides and this is in a silky cyan, which I thought was a beautiful, beautiful color. So I got this right here. I thought that was beautiful. So there is that right there. That is the drill grinder. All right. And then I was contemplating a couple different uh, size trays to get. And I was researching them and trying to compare them in size to the trays that I'm used to. And which you guys know are like the mini Bella art trays. And I was like, well, let me try these. So I went with, I was like, I measured them out and kind of like looked at their photos and tried. So I did a Ignite mini diamond art tray. Uh, so I went with this one to try it out because I like the tiny trays and I went in the silky cyan for this one as well because it's such a pretty minty color. And this tray slides on nicely. So this is the Ignite mini because I like a small tray that I can hold but that has all of this nice and free right there. So you've got plenty of space for the drills. It does have a tiny little trash drill spot, but it's very small. And then you've got the funnel that you can do that to open, to pour your drills out. It does say Firefly right there, Ignite Mini on the bottom, so you can know what size it is. And then you've got the opening. So I kind of like this, so that you don't have to worry about having a stopper that you have to find. So that, I do like that aspect a lot about this. And this is like, fits very nicely in my hand, which is why I wanted to go with this size. And then you've got the lid and the lid looks really nice. I love this color. This is a beautiful, beautiful color. 
this silky cyan color. And of course, with all 3D printed items, when they're brand new, they're gonna be a snugger fit and hard to move than when you've had them for a while. So this is the Ignite Mini. So that is tray number one. And then I got the, uh, I did a customization for a custom lid. I wanted to do um, some cherry blossoms or some Sakura. So I got a Flint uh, diamond art tray in white. And then I bought a lid separately so that way I could add the customization to the lid. So like I said, this one was the Ignite Mini. And then I was like, I think I might like this flint size. So I got it in white. So this is the bottom of the flint. Uh, and you can see this is like a little bit smaller, a little bit shorter still. And I went with just a straight white and then look what I had added to the top. I had cherry blossoms added to it because I thought that would be beautiful. And again, I wanted something that was that small size. And I believe these are designed that you could get multiple of the flints that would stack together without the lid. And I just wanted to get one to see if I liked it. But look at how pretty that is with the design on there. So I went with this right here because I was like, that is beautiful. And then if I got more, I could always have like the one with the customization on top. Again, you've got your uh, funnel that that is like super nice that that opens. Uh, and the customization that I did, this is what like took so long for my order was to have this uh, right here um, was this customization. So was that right there. So those were the two trays that I ordered. And I'm curious about this because I don't remember ordering uh, anything else. So I'm curious what this one is. Because um, I'm like, I don't remember ordering anything else. Uh, maybe, maybe I did, but I don't remember it. So I'm going to have to have a look, see and see, uh, cause I think that was my only Firefly order. So we will look and see what this one is. So this looks like it is Ignite. The one that started it all year one, 2023. That is nice. Oh, that's beautiful. Looks like you've got like a little, um, reminds me like the Lotus right there. This beautiful. Huh, that is gorgeous. So did they just send me like a free tray? Cause that, if they did, that is super awesome. I like it, but that is a gorgeous tray and I like it in this dark color, but then it's still got like the bright enough right here that you could still see your drills. And I love the topper here because obviously, you know, everything, you know, Asian and it's not super, super wide. So this is like a nice, with where it's like to hold it for a really long time, it would get uncomfortable, but I could hold it to do like a area of large color blocking. Cause I use, I do use a tray roughly about this size when I'm doing a large area of color blocking. Um, but I can't hold it for a super long time before I'm like, okay, I need to go back to a smaller area. Uh, and this is for like those super large, large swaths. But that is really pretty and it looks very nice. Nice, but, and I, I do really like this. This is very neat. It's a very neat idea to have this uh, way right here. That's a fantastic for that there. So nice, that looks very nice. I was not expecting this to be added to my order at all, but that was my haul, my tray haul from Firefly to go along and then like my grinder. I'm excited for this because now I have a little grinder to use in case I have those clumpy drills that you get on occasion. I have a nice little grinder. I was expecting one of those big things. I always pictured it looking like a lot bigger than this, but that is nice. I'm excited for this. So this was my haul for today. As you can see, we got my Wee Wax. So realistically, it always looks like so much, but the items that you actually order, it's like out of this order, it was this. Out of this order, it was this. Here, it was these items. And then here it was these items. It always looks like so much more when you get order from small shops because they go, they do so much more. Uh, and I love that. And I, lo I love small shops. So anyways, I'm going to let you guys go check out all of these small shops. Uh, Mary is going to be having her baby soon. So you will probably not be able to order from Mary for a while until she settles into a new routine when she has her baby, um, has her daughter. So that's why I've been stocking up on my Mary Mud because, you know, got to be stocked up on uh, my Mary Mud. And then I can start, or and then I'll have to order from other small shops until, you know, 
she gets into a new routine with when she has the new baby. But otherwise, we've got our wee wax, madwood wood turning, merry mud, and firefly trays. So now I'll have to try these out in a whip and chat and see what I think of some of these trays and go from there. Because you can never go wrong having a nice white tray and a light colored tray, but then also having some darker trays. But anyways, enough rambling. I ramble way too much. I will let you guys go and I will see you in the next video. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.